Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Eskif Gaming and welcome to something that I haven't done for a little while. iRacing. So iRacing has been something that I've uh, done on the channel before, um, but for not for a little while. It was my main game that I used to uh, do quite a lot of uh, back when I used to uh, stream uh, back in my early days of streaming. But that is soon going to be changing. I am actually going to be going back to iRacing uh, to a bit more of a fuller extent and this is basically the first hurdle so not the easiest of races to go into your first race properly for a little while and that is Long Beach so um, week 7 of season 1 2023 um, for the IMSA series is at Long Beach a very difficult street track and uh, when you add traffic you know bearing in mind just if the fact of it being a street track is difficult enough but when you add multi-class traffic into the mix it can create a lot of chaos as you're going to see through during this video if you do like the video don't forget to hit that uh, like button it does help me out a lot to understand that you are enjoying the content and if you do want to see further videos such as this do not be afraid to hit that subscribe button and also click that bell to be notified when I'm uploading my next video but otherwise I'll let you enjoy the race I'll see you again soon. E14, 45 minutes. Right. First race back in a while. It is so, and I'm looking to try and get into our racing a bit more regularly. I haven't been regular for about a couple of years, so. Main goal. Just survive. It's the name of the goal, really, with these type of street tracks, especially this one. Just Are we going one single file. Just one little mistake can cost you the entire race. Off we go. Of course, single fire is going to be needed, so let's at least do that. Somebody is not going to, though, by the looks of it. Right side. Still there. Third okay, we've already made one position up, which is good. Because we're going to have very cold tires and cold brakes at the moment. And around a straight track like this isn't exactly the most comfortable. The fact that we've actually got some clear track around us isn't too bad, necessarily. Gives us a little bit more time to know if something's happening ahead of us. We're not too far away from getting our tires up to full temperature. 
one of the big things to watch out for is the LMD haters come out for the first time. But they will catch up to us quite early. And they will look to get past us really quick. Because we do slow them down by quite a lot. We do around this track. Oop. Are you fucking trying to wreck people, you moron? Oh dear, there's a crash up ahead. You guys are passing on the way on the yellow play, guys. Whoa! Is that an intentional wreckage behind me? Have to look at that afterwards. Oh, hello. You Ellen DH drivers inspire me so much. The carnage has already happened and uh the LMD haters haven't gone around yet. Goodness me, I can't even get around that turn! It's so tight, man! Literally, it's a little bit like trying to get um, a TV round there. You know, that is not happening, by the way. Oh, God. I'm hitting that curve bad. Right, and that's why I'm getting that oversteer and then understeer at the same time, kind of thing. It's like as if I've overheated the tyres already. I'm wondering if that is actually the case. Okay, that's a GT3. So, that is a freebie, but I will immediately lose this position, which isn't so bad. Yeah, the LMD H's are coming through soon. Yeah, I just can't get the car turned in. I lose a full second on just a half in a line. That's pretty bad. Just because I can't get the tar car turned. Like, have I actually overheated the tyres, or is there something more to it than that? I feel like I'm hitting the braking marks and everything like that, but it just feels like that I... But with how the car's acting, I am overdriving the car. Because you kind of know when you're overdriving a car, the car just slips and slides right. everywhere. Right. right, so this is where it gets interesting. So the LMG is coming through for the first time. Expect them to overtake quite aggressively. I'm going to get over to the right hand side as soon as I can. Just in that way they know what way they're on the cars.
Even the LMP2 is enough up with us as well. Ooh, where's this yellow flag? Oh, he's right there! <laughs> it was literally bouncing around the corner! At least you saw him at the last moment. Thankfully, I didn't need to dodge him. Go watch your six. Go watch your four. Your four, you gotta watch everywhere else. Yeah, I'm taking that hairpin too tight. Okay, we're up to ten now. Ooh. I had a feeling that I was gonna outbreak for myself at the turn then. Of course, if there is a rule in Enza and uh, IndyCar about that hairpin no overtaking, that does not relate to uh, any type of ruling when it comes to eye racing. They have just got to be careful if they want to keep doing that. Oops, somebody's uh, rear wing there. You don't have a rear wing, mate. Well, there is it. there's your answer. Yo, no, Matt, you don't have a rear wing. Who, me? Yeah, my bad comments. I just now got me. You don't have a rear wing. I don't know if you noticed. Yeah, my bad. I just now got the meatball. I was gonna say, I was just gonna, I just wanted to tell you in case you just fucking died in a breaking zone. Yeah, I didn't mean to sleep you like that, my bad. Unlucky, that was really fun. Guys, shut up. No, the fucking mic then. It's not going to quite turn in. Okay, I'll Stick to your line. Those exits. Not able to quite get it turned in enough in some of these turns. Okay. I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> Like he was never gonna make that pass from that far back. Right side. Clear to the right. Cap two. Far right. Clear to the right. Okay, get over to the right hand side again.
losing the position. On your one. Blue flag, yellow flag, blue to the left. Hope there he is. I'm honestly not sure if I got hit from behind or if I hit Tim in front. If I did, it was very light anyway. This isn't a big deal. Want to do that? Still there. Somebody can overtake, at least do it. Still there. Far left. Clear to the left. On your left. Blue flag. Hold your line. Clear left. Okay. In the raging group, please just tell. He's just taking himself out. He kind of did that to himself. He tried racing me too hard. I got my braking marker about on the right arm. Whoa, okay. Tell me you didn't hit that guy over You're talking about the wrecked Audi? Yeah. <laughs> no, he almost took out me in the safety later, so. <laughs> yeah, the other flag was for that LMP2. That was a uh, pizza in the glass. I will probably have a little bit of damage to repair, but not that bad. Yeah, he's towed it. Because I'm not necessarily going fast, I'm just racing slow. That's the main thing you can take from a race like this. But yeah, sure, I'm not fast, I'm not really with anybody, but I've had lots of bad traffic in bad areas. Whoa. I didn't have any clue that Diego, that Diego was behind me there. Good, that's actually a good good pass from that LMTH there. Bit awkward of a place to pass, I will admit. He did that quite well. I need to go so much quicker. I do. I feel like I can go much quicker, but I'm just not able to. I'm just not confident in the car yet. And that's partially what's going on.
Track temperature is quite low as well. And I'm wondering if maybe it's the track is just a little bit slippery. Okay, I'll do window open. So there isn't enough grip. And because of that, I'm just sliding everywhere. And that's causing the tires to overheat. Could even be just all the bumps on the road surface. Because it is a street track, that is going to happen. The pit window is now open. Yeah, I can feel that there's no grip on the front end. And I don't think new tyres is going to resolve the issue. Your corner, found it. Okay, Grieg is in. Flag. He needs to overtake me before the turn. New personal best, by the way, last lap. I still feel like I can go much quicker than what I am. Might take the hairpin and get it round. Wow, I am gonna lose more than a second just in the hairpin because of how bad I screwed it up. 
And that was a good lap too. Best of it is, is that we will also ruin this lap a little bit as well. Okay, so some of the leaders are starting to pit. What are you doing? Five seconds in the next LMDH behind. You shouldn't catch up to me, I don't think. Right side, right side, clear right, you're clear. Yeah, it's a pit. Might as well pit now while we've got everything cleared. We're only going to stop for fuel, we're not going to put any new tyres. So no damage apparently. Now the tires would have cooled down a bit. It's decided to stay behind, which is fine. Right side. Clear right. Seems like I'm the last place car that is still like in the running as such. But the car that's ahead of me that is a GT3 car. He has just left the pits after doing some repairs. He caught up to me a bit too quickly. Left side. Hold your line. Clear left. Far too late for that turn. Alright, is a faster car approaching. Clement is now leading. Ooh, hold on to it, Thomas. There was zero X on Aura. <laughs> that left rear says otherwise, but keep it going straight, man. Not long, these about a couple of zero axes, right? 
Florida. I said it's not Long Beach without a couple of zero X's. Go, what is he doing? Left side. Clear left. Left side. Clear left. I guess he was expecting me to stay over to the left. And obviously you don't want to be offline as a GT3 car. Okay, so P1 and the other two cars will go back now, Jack. Okay, Al, there's a faster car bearing down on you. He's the class leader. Go over to the right side. The way he knows where I want him to go. Not close enough anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. We've got a little bit of damage, but nothing too serious. It's just me trying to take the speed um, corner than my normal speed when I've not got the inside line. Somebody's in the pits for some reason. So it'll be a, a position at all games. So I'll be up to P9 now. Keep it balanced. P9. So we can still gain positions through other drivers' mistakes. You know, just traffic. Traffic can still play a part, even this late. You know, it showed that with the last lap. The last few laps that we've had ourselves. All it takes is a moment of miscommunication between two different classes of cars and that can end somebody else's race, just like that. Definitely for these tires are going a bit. Oh my god, what am I doing? One 
Oh, I turned in for that turn, Levite. Oh, hello. I've hit the uh, inside wall there. I've never done that before. Ten minutes remaining. Ten minutes. On your left. We're left. Well, that was a 21.27. Got a faction too late. Still got a good exit though. I believe I'm probably losing on average about a second a lap to GT3. The GT3 leader is actually not that far back. He's only six seconds back. hit a wall or no he hit a wall on my screen but he didn't hit it on his screen that was uh latency that was it's always a bit awkward uh, for the guy that is behind that car that is lagging the car in front is pitting why is the car pitting this late? Wow. Yep, that's another of, uh, position back we gained. I think he may have crashed as well, possibly. That's up to eight.
going for on the uh, second back straight. The reason why I've done that, I've not got anybody directly else behind me other than him. Not that I and I'd rather him just overtake me rather than when traffic's around us. Because that can then spell disaster. He's coming in. A lot of drivers are coming in for a second stop. Comes the lead LMT H car. On fast enough to be able to do an extra lap that is causing everybody to not have enough fuel. Is that what's going on? Because I am constantly getting moments where it's telling me to refuel and then not. Which is only a litre that we need to fuel, fuel if that is the case. slow down a little bit more than what I'm doing at the moment for that turn. I'm constantly been having issues with that turn. Pretty much all race. But it is extremely tough. Somebody else has lost a uh, rear wing. Okay, Sorry, Florian, I was distracted by the wing in the middle of the road. Another person in the pits, I've just noticed. the wall. Okay, I should have enough fuel to get to the end. Hmm? 
So we're now up to P7. But yeah, you can see we're not exactly fast, but we're going to gain some high rating. Just because we've been sensible. We've not pushed the car too hard. We've done what we've needed to do. Just keep the car clean. It's not perfect by any means. But we've not even had any actual incidents on the track. Maybe a couple of small moments, a couple of hits on the wall, but that's normal on a street track, kind of. You try not to let it happen. But it's going to be kind of inevitable. Nineteen point eight, and I'm not even pushing. It shows this car isn't bad on pace. I just need to improve on this track. Like this is my first actual race ever that I've done on this track, and this track is almost a year old. So, not an easy track by any means. Oh, yellow flag. Oh, that was for a car just pass on track. Now I am going to clutch it a little bit down this straight. Are you doing? Right, and that is a good finish in the end. P7, a little bit of gain of I rating. And uh, 0x as well. On a street track. I'd like to point out. This is all on a street track. Good recall. So, uh, not a bad first race back, I will say. Obviously, I know I need to make a lot more improvements there. But, we'll do that in the next one. So, that is the end of the first race uh, for me um, coming back to iRacing. Obviously, as you can see, I am quite rusty at the moment. Obviously, that um, will uh, gradually go away as I do more racing so that is basically the main aim for me is to try and get as much racing time as possible content is going to be coming uh throughout the week it is as well as i get back um and just get my footing in it a little bit um there's a lot of things going on in the background by the way which i will um make announcements for um later on in the week as well but i hope you did enjoy the video if you did reach to the end of the video as well don't forget to give it a like. It does help out the channel a lot. And if you do want to see further content such as this, then please get that subscribe button a uh, click as well. And maybe even let me know in the comments as well if you've reached uh, to the end of the video. Maybe let me know what you want to see next. But otherwise, I'm going to leave it there. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you guys next time.